Dwayne Johnson walked back his support of Joe Rogan on Friday after becoming aware of the compilation video of Joe saying the N-word 24 times on his podcast. When Joe did his first apology last Monday, addressing Neil Young and other musicians pulling their music from Spotify because of what they call COVID misinformation on the Joe Rogan experience, Joe vowed to have more balanced voices and be better prepared for interviews. So Dwayne commented on that video, great stuff here brother, perfectly articulated. Look forward to coming on one day and breaking out the tequila with you. A few days later, author Don Winslow tweeted at Dwayne, you're a hero to many people and using your platform to defend Joe Rogan, a guy that used and laughed about using the N-word dozens of times, is a terrible use of your power. Have you actually listened to this man's many racist statements about black people? And Dwayne responded to Don, thank you so much for this. I hear you as well as everyone here 100%. I was not aware of his N-word use prior to my comments, but now I've become educated to his complete narrative. Learning moment for me. Mahalo, brother, and have a great and productive weekend. So while Dwayne might not want to show his support for Joe, Spotify CEO Daniel Ek is. So in a letter to staff, Daniel calls some of Joe's comments extremely hurtful, but then he writes this. I think it's important you're aware that we've had conversations with Joe and his team about some of the content in his show, including his history of using some racially insensitive language. Following these discussions and his own reflections, he chose to remove a number of episodes from Spotify, 71 to be exact. He also issued his own apology over the weekend. While I strongly condemn what Joe has said, and I agree with his decision to remove past episodes from our platform, I realize some will want more. And I want to make one point very clear. I do not believe that silencing Joe is the answer. We should have clear lines around content and take action when they're crossed, but canceling voices is a slippery slope. Looking at the issue more broadly, it's critical thinking and open debate that powers real and necessary progress. And when it comes to the imbalance of monetary value towards Joe, Daniel says he is committing to an incremental investment of $100 million for licensing, developing, and marketing of music, artists and songwriters, and audio content from historically marginalized groups. This will dramatically increase our efforts in these areas. While some might want us to pursue a different path, I believe that more speech on more issues can be highly effective in improving the status quo and enhancing the conversation altogether. That's a great move on Spotify's part, because like I said, that was the big question. Like, how are they going to put more monetary value in marginalized voices? So I think it's great. And look, Joe Rogan's not going anywhere, nor should he. And so Joe has vowed to be better, and Spotify is putting more value in marginalized voices. So I think this is a win. I think it's a pretty good plan. But yeah, what do you guys think?